to be about the top fast passes for a family with children ages three and under. First up, check out my Facebook page at Vacation with the Magic by Shelby. It's a great page to follow and like. I list any discounts or promotions that are coming out with Disney. There is a Disney Cruise Line. They are releasing their itineraries on November 2nd and their cruises for January to May 2019. So if you're interested in that, please contact me. My email will be down below. Also check out my blog at www.lovingmama that always has this information up as well. So that way, you know, it's a great reference. So for a family with kids ages three and under, for children that are two and under, they do not need a park ticket. They do not need fast passes booked. So if long as they meet the height requirements, and they usually do at Walt Disney World because you're not putting your kid, who's two, usually on rock and roller coaster. I don't know, maybe you are. As long as they meet the height requirement. So they can just enter the Fast Pass line with you. Now, for the Magic Kingdom, my top three picks for children ages three and under are Peter Pan's Flight. And Peter Pan's Flight does have a really cute and interactive queue but the line gets long fast and nobody not even adults want to wait 60 minutes for a two minute ride so i suggest fast passing that one the next one is the many adventures of winnie the pooh also a really cute and interactive queue as well but once again that line gets very very long because it's very popular for the toddler set and that's why i recommend you fast pass it now, the third one that I recommend, and you will see a trend in a couple other parks, is the Mickey Mouse meet and greet in Town Square. This one is great because Mickey talks. And it is very, very cool and very magical, especially for a little kid. Heck, it's magical for me and I'm an adult. So I highly recommend this. You can hit it on a good time sometimes, but it's a very boring line. There's nothing to do. You just stand there. And so I recommend Fast Pass. The next park up is Epcot. And Epcot has a tier system. And what that means at Walt Disney World is that some rides are in tier one and some rides are in tier two. Usually only like a couple rides, four or five rides are in tier one. And then everything else is in tier two. For Fast Passes, you can choose one tier one and two tier two. So for Epcot, for the toddler set, I recommend choosing Frozen Ever After. It does go backwards for a little bit and you have a tiny drop, so keep that in mind, but it's Frozen, it's Olaf, it's Sven, it's Anna, it's Elsa. It's just adorable. It's Marshmallow. I forgot about Marshmallow. How can I forget Marshmallow? It is so cute. I enjoy it as an adult and I'm really frozen out. For tier two, for tier two, I recommend the Epcot character spot. And in the Epcot character spot, you can meet Mickey and Minnie and Goofy. In the past, we've met Mickey, Goofy, Donald, and Pluto and Minnie. So they can change the other two out, but Mickey is always there. Also, Spaceship Earth. The first worldwide web. Now, why Spaceship Earth over the Nemo ride? Because a lot of people don't ride the Nemo ride that don't have small children. So the line doesn't get crazy as long. And just like Spaceship Earth, the Nemo ride is continuously loading. So it's a continuously moving ride that is continuously loading people and loading off people. But Spaceship Earth is right there. It's under the ball. Everybody sees it. Everybody wants to ride it. So it's just easier if you fast pass it. For Hollywood Studios, Hollywood Studios has a tier system just like Epcot. For, so for tier one, you have your choice and this depends on your child. I have down Fantasmic. <laughs> which is their nightly show. Now, the con to doing this, and I will get to this at the end, explain a little bit more, is that by having your third fast pass late in the evening, you won't be able to book a fourth fast pass. 
because you can book your fourth fast pass after you've used your original three. And I'll get that into that more at the end. So that's why Fantasmic's kind of up in the air. I actually recommend the dining package for Fantasmic. A whole lot easier, especially if you know you're going to be eating dinner. It's just easier. It doesn't cost any more to get the Fantasmic dining package than it does to make a regular reservation. And you have reserved seating in Fantasmic. So then there's no worries. And when we do the dining package, which we always do, we show up about 15 minutes before showtime and get a seat without a problem. The other tier one that I recommend is Toy Story Midway Mania. And in Toy Story Midway Mania, you are like shrunken down toy size and it's you're in a video game. And it's really, really cool. A really a ton of fun. My kids have loved it since they were one. I remember riding with my son and he was one years old. As soon as they could sit up by themselves. And I had my arm around him as I was playing. And, you know, do you do your best? No. Who cares? He's giggling, I'm giggling, we had a blast. For tier two, my recommendations are, for the first time in forever, the Frozen sing-along. Here we go. We are a little quartet of Anna Hello, Kristoff, and Sven, making to Elsa's ice castle on the North Mountain. Elsa Anna took him away, freezing her heart. Accident! When she learns of Arendelle's face. She sends a marshmallow out. Giant snowman, ten feet tall. No, twenty. Thirty! And then Kristoff almost died, jumping off an icy cliff. Luckily, the snow cushions their fall. We learned that Olaf has no skull and no bones. I don't have a skull or bones. It is hilarious. It is very entertaining. I like it as an adult. And like I said, I'm completely frozen out still. My children haven't watched the movie in a very long time. But I love this show. My second tier two choice would be the Disney Junior show. And I say this so you, maybe you can get a little bit of better seating with your Fast Pass because it's a puppet show and it's up on a stage and you don't want to be too close to the stage, but you know, you want to be far enough back that you can see everything, but then the toddlers do stand up. So you want to make sure that your toddler has room to stand up and dance. And in the show are your kids' favorite characters from Mickey Mouse Clubhouse and Jake and the Neverland Pirates, Sophia the First and Doc McStuffins. So it is absolutely, it is really cute and it's an adorable show and the kids will absolutely love it. For the final park is Animal Kingdom. Now Animal Kingdom has a semi tier system right now with Pandora. So what that means is that you can choose one ride from Pandora and two rides from everything else or zero rides from Pandora and three rides from anything else. So for the three and under, I kind of recommend not doing Pandora. First of all, Flight of Passage has a height restriction. And River Journey is really, really cool. So you could actually hit that at Rope Drop if you wanted to. So that's easy peasy. But I recommend doing Kilimanjaro Safari. Prehensile tongue so they can reach up and grab the leaves with them. <laughs> now they spend all day eating. Doesn't leave a whole lot of time for anything else. The giraffes only sleep for about 30 minutes a day. <laughs> Which is the whole reason why Animal Kingdom is there, right? I mean, this is the ride that Animal Kingdom was pretty much based around. And you have to ride it when you go to Animal Kingdom. Festival of the Lion King. Settle down! <laughs> <laughs> if you please. Festival of the Lion King is a fantastic Broadway caliber show with singing and dancing and animals and kids love it. It is absolutely, it is a must, must see at Walt Disney World. Best show on property. Now the next one depends on if you've got character spot. Not if you've met Mickey in Town Square because he talks, but if you actually did character spot. And that is the Meet Minnie and Mickey at Adventures Outpost. So if you did character spot, then you really don't have to do this. They're in safari gear, which is neat, but it could save you a fast pass. So my next choice then would be Finding Nemo the Musical. Which is a wonderful, once again, Broadway caliber show with puppets and singing and the toddler set loves Nemo. He is like, this is the greatest movie. So this is a must see, especially if your kid loves Nemo. Now with the fast passes, like I said, you can make your fourth fast pass after you've used your initial three. So that's why with Fantasmic, if you have a fast pass at eight o'clock at night, Hollywood Studios will be closing soon after 
and then you'll never have your fourth fast pass. So after you've used your third fast pass, as soon as you enter the line, you go on My Disney Experience on your phone and you get your fourth fast pass. And then as soon as you've entered the line for your fourth fast pass, you go on My Disney Experience on your phone and you get your fifth fast pass. And that's how you keep accumulating fast passes. It is easy to do. It takes seconds to do, and it's a great way so you don't have to wait in line all day long and you can enjoy your favorite rides. So if you have any questions, please comment down below and like and subscribe. I want to hear from you guys. I love hearing from you guys. And thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.